Hey everyone, we are back from vacation, so that means we are back to uh, Syria fantasy videos. And sir, I was really hoping to get this kind of series done before I left, but we got to conclude with the top fives, and a lot has changed over the past almost two weeks. Uh, so the stuff from the last videos might not even be so relevant with some players being transferred in. Um, and getting to see now and friendly is people that are more so starting over others. But now we have our top five forwards. I'd also like to thank everyone over the vacation. We have got over 500 subscribers now, which is really exciting. Let's try to keep that number going. Um, and we're moving on to the next hundred. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, um, and we'll get on with the video. Okay, so top five forwards. Our first one is going to be Moise uh, Keen or Ken sometimes pronounced um, and a big thing is that is one he's 5.0 million for a striker and he is finally going to I think be the main man striker on a team uh, he's had a couple stints at Juve where he's constantly played behind more elite strikers he went to Everton didn't really show much there playing behind Calvert-Lewin um, and so he's always been a rotational striker. I do believe coming here, he will play um, above uh, Beltran uh, and Enzola. I think he will be the starting striker. And at 5.0 for Fiorentina, who I think have been lackluster the last couple seasons, I think he is uh, going to do well there. Um, he So obviously playing for Juve for quite a few years, he does have Serie A experience, but he hasn't really proven to be a, a prolific striker yet so that's the only risk you're running but you're not 5.0 for a striker you're not running a huge risk he is very benchable if needed you can play a two striker system and have him out if he's struggling and look transfer him um the only thing now that uh david de gea has been transferred into fiorentina if de gea is going to be their starting goalkeeper over tetrashano that i like that pick of a very experienced keeper who was a very good keeper and I think uh, Nico Gonzalez is a lock for me for Fiorentina so it really just depends on if that second player at least for me is going to be De Gea uh, the only issue is De Gea might not start right away as we're really close to the start of the season he just got brought in uh, so maybe he doesn't make my team immediately but De Gea is under 5.0 mil if he is starting and then Nico Gonzalez the way that he started a season last year those might be my two Fiorentina players rather than Keane but at 5.0, it's going to be a hard decision. And I think until De Gea shows that maybe he's got the first spot locked up, uh, Keane might be the way to go for that second Fiorentina player. And I have in a lot of drafts seen people be using Moise Keane. Um, so I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. Going on to the next one, we have the new Atalanta striker, Matteo Retegui, who when not injured, played really well last year. Uh, he's been brought in by Atalanta to, I think, fill the injury to Skamaka. Skamaka got, I think it was an ACL or MCL injury. We'll miss like half a year of action. Really unfortunate there. Um, and he may not start immediately as this is a relatively recent transfer. I believe Coop Miners is like going to Juve and then Retegui is going to Atalanta. That's kind of, I guess, how they made it freed up money for it. But 6.0 mil, good price for the Atalanta striker. Um, I don't really know, I guess, who else would play striker for Atalanta right now. So he might find his way right into the squad. So keep an eye on those friendlies to see if he is starting. But he is a very good way into the Atalanta squad. Now, there are other players in Atalanta you might want before him. Di Cretelier, um, Scalvini, um, if you want Carnesecchi or Musso. So he would take up an Atalanta spot, but at that price, I think that's pretty good. Now, the Roma striking situation, uh, I think it has been pretty clear that Dovbik has been brought in to be the main striker at Roma this year. Um, but up until this transfer, Tammy Abraham was the only striker listed under Roma. This transfer to get uh, Dovbik in was pretty early in the friendlies transfer window. Uh, so he may be ready to go for the start of the season, but 
a 9.0 million uh, or sorry, euro price tag, that might be a little steep for a player that hasn't proven anything in Serie A yet. If Tammy Abraham was still the starting striker, I think that that would be a great price for him. So I do think that Dovbik is supposed to be brought in to be the main man at Roma. But what really matters for Roma right now are these first few fixtures, which I'm not sure if Tammy Abraham might have to start things out um, because Roma has the best fixtures to start the season. And I think you definitely want two Roma players, but you don't want to bring in the wrong striker here for the start of the season. So I have had it. I have seen pretty strong that Dovbik is going to be the starter. Uh, let me know if you think that he'll be the starter right away or if Tammy Abraham might get the first couple games. Uh, next one, Alvaro, Alvaro Marata uh, has had a lot of Serie A experience with Juve. I found he didn't do as great in Serie A as he did in Champions League when he was with us. Uh, if you don't know, I am a Juve fan. Um, that's why I said us there. Uh, I think Morata should be considered to be one of the premium strikers that you can get because Osimen, I think, is likely out. I don't think that he's part of the Napoli plans at all, but I, there hasn't been a uh, concrete transfer yet. But I think that's still in the works. So aside from Lautaro Martinez, like Morata is going to be maybe the next premium striker, or maybe Vlahovic. Uh, if I mean, based on price, Dovbik might be considered one. Um, but I think Alvaro Morata for 8.0 to maybe be seen as one of the more premium strikers in the game is a pretty good option. Uh, he did get brought in early in the transfer window, so he may have had enough time with the AC Milan team to be starting striker right away, especially with Giroud gone. And the last one I think is very obvious. Uh, Latura Martinez was clear cut the best striker in Serie A last year. Um, he's on penalties, even when he doesn't start the match, because there is generally a lot of rotation in that front line for Inter. He scores off the bench just because of the amount of competitions they're in. Uh, and they are looking like unclear, uh, clear favorites again. I think Latura Martinez is definitely worth the 12.0 price tag. I did not have him to start my season last year, and that caused me to fall behind early. If you do not want to fall behind early, I definitely suggest making room for Latoro Martinez in your side. He And so many people are going to have him that even if he doesn't pay off right away, it's going to not be paying off for a lot of people. It almost feels like more of a safety pick, um, kind of like if you were to pick Holland for... Uh, fantasy Premier League for those coming from that game where it's just like sometimes you don't even want him or you might not think that he's going to be good but you got to have him just so you don't fall behind early and that's kind of my feelings towards Lectoro Martinez you don't really need to say too much more for the guy uh, he's proven it in for Inter last year he proved it over the uh, Copa America um, that he is definitely it seems like he's in a prime right now of his career and doing fantastic. Um, but yeah, that's why I have him for number one. And I didn't have to do too much thinking to do that. Uh, that's it for our top five for our forwards. I'm going to try to get into a couple more videos, one with fixtures, hopefully one kind of summarizing Copa Italia, where you're going to get to see, we're going to have seen some of some lineups in competitive matches for some of the Serie A teams. Um, and then I will have to obviously do an updated draft uh, or my, which will probably be my team selection for the start of the season. We're starting up in, what is that? Eight days now, first uh, weekend of the season. So make sure you get those teams in. Please don't forget to subscribe and join our YouTube league. Uh, I'll make sure I post the link in the, in the uh, description. Take care and see you soon.